back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to send data from your apple watch to iphone as well as vice versa how to send data from your iphone to apple watch uh, programmatically uh, for your own app uh, so let's get started so first things first if you have an apple watch and an iphone like a real device you want to test it on a real device then you will have to go through this documentation on how to pair apple watch with iphone like the user has to do it manually uh, there is no programmatic way of doing it as far as i am aware so you will have to follow this docs and uh, yeah and uh, if you want to test it on simulator like if you don't have a real device just like me you can test it on simulator as well but you have to download a very specific simulator firstly you will have to download the watchOS sdk uh, once you have downloaded that uh, what you will have to do is you will have to come to your uh, so create an ios application it can be a swift ui application or a uh, i will re prefer a swift ui application because i am using swift ui application and there are some uh, terminologies uh, i mean you don't have to uh, you can get away with ui kit application as well uh, but yeah it's up to you so first create a swift ui application like an a typical ios application okay once you create that you will have to select over here manage run destinations okay and go to simulators tab click on the plus button and here you will have to check this pad apple watch so what this will do it will download an ios simulator as well as an a corresponding pad watch os simulator as well so you can choose anything and o any os version whichever you want to okay give some name click next and here you will you can again select apple watch series 4 but do remember your simulator name uh, because if you have large number of simulator it could be very well happen that you might completely forget uh, what simulator name i had chosen so just click on create i have already created one so i won't uh, do that so this is my ios simulator next what you will have to do is uh, go at the top click on file new and here you will have to select target and go to watch os click app click next and uh, here uh, you will have to enter some product name so whatever is your watch os name i have already entered entered and created this so my name is watch os app i have kept it simple and here you will have to select this uh, watch app for existing ios app and here you will have to select your ios app which you have created so here you can see there is only one app one thing so select this watch app for existing ios app and select your project and once you give it name click finish i have already done that so i won't do it again so here you can see this is my watch os app this is my ios app okay i will close everything for now next what you will have to do you will have to create a class called connectivity so this connectivity class will help us to uh, you know communicate from uh, watch os to ios and vice versa uh, in the meantime i will just uh, what i'll do is that i will just run my simulator so this is my watch os simulator which i'm running i've started running okay so this is a uh, create a uh, swift file called connectivity and make sure you check the target membership to both so this file will be used both by your watch os app as well as your ios app so and first it extends nh object and it has this observable object because we want to use at the rate publish and uh, we will have to create a class for this in swift ui that's why and we have to uh, also use this wc session delegate uh, because uh, we need all this uh, methods to over uh, to communicate from watch os to ios and vice versa uh, as soon as this is initialized i am checking whether wc session is supported if yes it is supported then only activate the session now here uh, once you override this it will tell you that you want to have to implement some protocol stubs so it will ask you to implement this protocol stubs okay uh, and uh, you can extend this protocol stub but this protocol stubs are, are very ios specific so you have to add this if clause over here and this else clause also I have overridden this if you want to use it and here i have created and if so if it is ios this will get used if it is watch os this will get used uh, apart from ios this will get used okay and here in uh, activation did complete with i'm just what i'm doing i have created a task and it is running on the main actor like on the main thread and i'm checking the activation state so
so activation state is activated and if the app is installed on watchOS as well then we are sending a callback to our iOS app that okay the watch app is installed so here you can see I have created this published object and I am just assigning to it next what uh, we will use this method send message it will be used both on iOS as well as watchOS side and this will help us to uh, receive uh, some text uh, so both on watchOS and iOS suppose uh, my watchOS app is calling this method and sending some data okay uh, then so uh, this uh, data would be uh, received on the iOS side okay did receive message so this will be the received response okay so let's get started like uh, I will uh, show you how exactly it works so here uh, this is like boilerplate code which you have to write and here I am just sending my response sorry uh, this is my data right so I'm just uh, sending this dis, uh, data in send uh, session dot send message and then I am updating the received text to received responses response okay and here we will uh, receive the message on the other side so once we receive the message we will we are uh, you updating the self dot received text to whatever text has been received so suppose if watch OS is sending some text it would be received on the iOS side right so we are updating this variable and this reply handler means suppose watch OS is sending some text uh, once it has been received by iOS uh, we show this reply handler like uh, intimate uh, like uh, informing watch OS that okay the data has been successfully sent and we, I am just uh, given this uh, message it can be anything whatever you want to do next if you go inside the content view of my iOS app uh, in the meantime what I will do I will now select our iOS target I will select my uh, correct iOS simulator and I will run this app as well and as soon as the app opens here you can see that watch app is installed because of this if you remember it was because of this now if I go inside content view here I am creating an object of connectivity once I create an object of our connectivity uh, class uh, next what I am doing I am just taking a text so once uh, we we already got an uh, information back from connectivity okay the watch app is installed already next there is another button called send message so here we are sending some message from uh, iPhone to watch OS and we are just calling the send message which I have defined it in the inside the connectivity class similarly for watch OS if you go inside the content view we are initializing content and here we will just call the receive text once we receive something from iOS and here you can see there is this button which will help us to send some data from watch OS again we are calling send message so suppose I go here if I click on the message button of iOS here you can see that a message from the iPhone and now the received text got updated received response response be, be excellent to each other so if you see over here inside the connectivity so iOS did call this method okay this was received by watch OS over here and then we got a callback saying uh, the response has been sent to watch OS so it got updated on the iOS side or with over here to with whatever you have sent over here to over here which is over here I hope you are getting it now what I'll do I will send some data from watch OS so I will if I click on this message button so here you can see hello from watch but the received response is now on watch OS side so yeah that's how you can send data from uh, iOS to watch OS and vice versa yeah that's it thank you for watching bye